Hello everybody, my name is Tubus Plot and welcome back to another gaming library video. And this time I figure I show off uh, <clears throat> my GameCube library. Um, I've only got five here. Um, I yeah, five. <laughs> I just like was needed to make sure. Um, yeah, I didn't. I've always. I remember as a kid, I always wanted to have a GameCube, but I never. I never did get one. Um, and the closest thing now to a GameCube that I have is my Wii, and so that's good enough for me. I mean, I've got a. I've got a GameCube controller and memory card and stuff, so it's all fine. Um, let's get the two. I'll well, get the two, uh, three essential ones out of the way. So first would be Pokemon Coliseum on the GameCube. This is one game I still have not finished. Um, I did restart a playthrough on it and I'm at the, uh, I still haven't finished it. It's been a while since I played it. I got to the Cypher Lab where you get Raikou. Like, my Pokemon are all very, not very, but they're quite underleveled and just like, it, it's frustrating as hell because I think my typing advantage, or my typing is a disadvantage for the Pokemon I have at the time, so. It, it's kind of frustrating. So then here's the disc. I don't know why I'm showing the disc. I just feel like it because there's only five games here. PS2 library on the other hand, oh, that's a big one. And the game that I wanted, the reason, the game that was the reason I wanted to get a GameCube was XD Gale of Darkness. Again, I I want to replay this again. Um, still like one of my, as a kid, like one of the games I wanted to get for a very, very long time was XD. I think even then, like, so I remember, um, ooh, how long ago was that? Maybe three years ago or so or more. Um, some friends of mine and I, we went uh, to a Destiny Mall in Syracuse. And there was a game store in the mall. I don't know what it's called. But they had, um, I think they had Coliseum for sale. Or both. They had both for sale. But like, I think it was probably Coliseum one the next year. I don't know. But either way, one of them was still like $60 or more. I'm just like, holy crap. Like, why? I mean, they are, uh, they are hell of a, I mean, they are really good games. Don't get me wrong. Um, and obviously a very short-lived region, the Hori region, but why it was still 60 bucks, I have no clue. I always thought Sha I mean, I, I think the only reason I wanted to get XE so bad is because Shadow Lugia, I mean, just look at him. He's so cool. Shadow Lugia is like, so cool. And I wish you could like transfer him to other games, but obviously you can't. You have to have him purified. And then there's the disc art. And then another GameCube staple is Luigi's Mansion. I love how the camera immediately recognizes Luigi <laughs> on the right facial recognition. If you don't know what Luigi's Mansion is at this point, oh boy. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'll show the cover this cover art pretty cool I have replayed it a couple times and I do have Dark Moon and I'm very looking forward to Luigi's Mansion 3 or whatever they want to call it. I know that's just a working title so it's like um, mansion on the switch now this game was shown in I think my retro haul video the first one I know I haven't done one of those in a while um, Metabots Infinity. I did play this game a little bit 
Um, but I figured I wanted to watch the anime all the way through first before I played it because it's been... Because I started to watch the anime and then I stopped and then I got this and then I'm like, no, I need to like watch it all the way through. Because I remember Metabots as a kid and just that was my childhood was Metabots. What was it that, what is it that they say in the intro, the opening for Metabots? Seems like they say 22nd century or something. They say something century, like in the intro, in the song, but it's like, I don't know, to think that this probably came out in the 90s, I want to say, Metabots did? Or maybe early 2000s, and it's like, I don't know. It's, I mean, not to say that we're close to the timeline, but it's like, it's, it's kind of funny. I think they still like use like, like wall, like hook, like hook phones hooked to the wall or like pay phones in the anime, and it's like, this is the, this is at least like five. No, it's at least maybe like a hundred years after our time, but it's like they still use pay phones. It's like it's ridiculous to look at it now. And then there's the cover, and for some reason it's focusing on Metabi, which is kind of interesting. <laughs> I don't know why. And then my most recent GameCube purchase was WWE Day of Reckoning 2. I did play a match on this and dear god, it's hard. So Day of Reckoning was a series that they put out that WWE games made for, for THQ, made for the GameCube, and then otherwise it was uh, SmackDown on the PlayStation get on the PlayStation consoles and then uh, WWE Raw on Xbox. So, that's that. And then here's the disc art. Where it's not showing Stacey Keebler. So, otherwise that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to drop a like on this video and to stay tuned with more videos like this as well as Let's Plays. Make sure to subscribe. Hit that bell notification button. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I'll get you guys next time.